Thank you. Yeah. Okay. First of all, thank you so much for joining us here today. I really appreciate it. Of course. It was an honor to be asked. I'm excited to be here. Thank you. Uh, before we begin, could I get you to uh, just say your name and, uh, and your title? Just like. Sure. I am Kate Rogers, K-A-T-E-R-O-G-E-R-S. I am CNBC's small business and entrepreneurship reporter. Awesome. Um, tell me why you think uh, Women's Entrepreneurship Day is an important day for us to recognize themselves. I think it's important for women who might have a great idea but might not know how to take the next step to hear from strong and inspirational women who have already done that. So I think a day like this just highlights all of their successes and the importance of educating women that entrepreneurship is an option for them and also providing them with the right resources to take that leap and, and achieve their dreams is so important. So that's why I'm so excited to be a part of Women's Entrepreneurship Day. Um, so it's important to support all small businesses. I always try, especially being a reporter talking about this, I always try to shop small and support local retailers. But you know, entrepreneurs, regardless of their sex, especially women, they'll put so much on the line to get started. And I think all of the businesses that you love in your neighborhood, your coffee shop, your laundromat, you know, your deli, um, that's someone's livelihood. So I think you have to remember that a lot's at risk when you start a business, and if you don't want to see those places shut down, you certainly better support them. Cool. Um, what can we do to empower women in the workplace starting businesses? I think uh, making sure that they know that their voices are being heard and continuing to encourage them um, to go forward with an idea when they might be scared or when they're not sure it might work out. Uh, and I think, like I said earlier, hearing from women who've already done that, who have taken that leap of faith and who have found success is so inspirational and so helpful to hopefully help other women achieve the same goals. Um, flipping the script a little bit. Um, how can, uh, so men who work in the workplace with women and want to be a force for good in the empowerment of women and uh, starting their own businesses and then uh, succeeding in, in established businesses, um, how can male allies um, be a, a positive force for change? Sure. Uh, I mean, I was just reading Kaufman Research uh, Foundation study that said, you know, women, obviously, as we all know, don't get the same access to venture capital, and they're starting businesses with less cash than their male counterparts. And they also, one of the big reasons for that is that they don't have access to the same social networks that men do. So if a man in the workplace wants to be an ally, I would say open up your social network to a woman that you know that might want to start a business but might not have the cash or the resources or the connections to do so. And if you have those, then certainly uh, help introduce her to the people that you know that can help make it happen because that's one fundamental gap that's missing here for women in order to you know take that next step and, and get their businesses started. Right. What about things like uh, mentorship? So is, is mentoring an uh, important factor? Yeah, absolutely. I think mentorship is great. I don't think it should be forced. I think it should be a more natural thing. Um, you know, you have to find a mentor that aligns with you and your personality and your goals and your dreams and, and you have to click. It has to be you know, the right fit, but I think mentorship can be really key in helping take an idea or a business to the next level. Cool. Um, how did you get involved sure, in Women's so, Entrepreneurship um, Day, and why, why did you decide to do so? Sure. So, like I said, I'm our entrepreneurship reporter at CNBC, and uh, Wendy contacted me and asked me if I wanted to moderate this great panel with all these inspirational women, so I jumped at the chance to do it. I was honored, and um, yeah, it was a no-brainer. Cool. Um, and uh, before I let you go, uh, real quick, if you could look, uh, look in the camera, mm -hmm. and uh, I just want to get your name and your title one more time. Yeah, sure. And just uh, make a, 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 a statement of support for Women's Entrepreneurship Day. Ooh, okay, wait. Let me, think, let me think about what my shadow is going to be. Okay. Do I need to spell it? Okay. Hi, I'm Kate Rogers. I'm CNBC's small business and entrepreneurship reporter, and I am so thrilled and honored to be a part of the second annual Women's Entrepreneurship Day here at the UN. Nailed it.